Hey everybody, what's up? NCD here with another Medal of Honor commentary. I'm back to combat mission, and one of the things I've been experimenting a lot with lately is uh, practicing my infiltration techniques, or in other words, getting behind the enemy lines and taking them out from behind. This can be especially effective when you're playing the Taliban defense, because the coalition is focused on moving forward to the next objective, and if you can stay in a good concealed position, uh, you can be really effective at taking out their troops from behind, especially uh, the enemy snipers. So you can see that's what I'm doing here on the right side. I'm just moving to their backfield here, um, and I found a, uh, looks like a combat scoped light machine gun there and this little road here is uh, a good spot to to sit because you're not really visible and you can pick off the assault troops as they try to run up to the objective on the left side. Now something you do have to be careful of is sometimes the uh, coalition snipers will try to move up on the hill right behind you and so if they spot you, which is what I'm doing here, I'm checking that out to make sure nobody's doing that. Um, and if they don't spot you then you're good to go because then you can actually take them out. They'll be right behind you standing there sniping. Um, but as you can see here I'm picking off uh, some spec ops guys uh, I don't know why I got greedy there. I, I really wanted the knife kill. I should have just kept pistoling that guy, but uh, I paid for it. But anyway, um, this is a really good tech technique to do, especially if you can lag behind as they move on to the next objective. Um, you can a lot of times get behind the enemy snipers, uh, and it's really confusing for them because if they don't have UAV, they're gonna not really going to know where you're sniping them from, um, and so a lot of times they'll... they'll Stay, get really focused on trying to find you out in, uh, in front of them when in reality you're behind them. So um, I didn't go right back to the same spot because now it's, it's obviously compromised. They have guys over there uh, sitting there waiting for me. So I decided to go and uh, kind of test out another little trick I've been doing is shooting through the cracks in the walls. You can see a lot of the coalition like to hide right behind this wall and uh, camp the bunkers as Taliban try to run through the opening here. And I think this guy actually knows that I'm here. He's definitely seeing me show up on his... Um, is UAV, so now he's going to come and try to get me, so I switch to pistol and go ahead and take him out as he runs through. Um, but then they kind of flood me, and of course I'm not going to have any chance against a Spec Ops player, so... So now I'm kind of, uh, I have a UAV to deploy, and, um... I'm decided to go back to the right side here, and uh, I hear the sirens going off, and so I figure, okay, maybe I can actually slip behind them into the tank field uh, as the charges go off, and so that's what I'm desperately sprinting over here to try to do. Um, you saw them all rushing in the left side, so I'm not expecting a lot of them to be on the right side, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to run over here, and you can see the, the charges went off, so now I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to hide, and I'm going to wait for them to pass. Now, a lot of times, uh, good assault players are going to know that you really need to clear the backfield before you move up to the next objective, because Taliban players love to do this, and so right now I'm just trying to find a good hunting spot to just sit here and wait. Now, if they have a UAV, obviously they're going to spot you, and you're going to be dead, but if you can actually make it um, as they move forward and you can stay here, then you can be really effective, especially with a sniper rifle in your hands, which is what I've got right now. So. My plan here is just to kind of sit here and wait for a few minutes, wait for them to all move up and start spawning um, at the bunkers now, and so then I can move back into the tank field and start sniping them from behind, and that's what I'm going to try here. The other thing I'm going to keep an eye out for is the uh, the armor, and they're actually moving it up right now, and I hear it coming, and so I definitely don't want to be spotted by that thing, which is why I quick move behind the wall again. But if you get a chance to... Uh, throw an IED onto the back of an, uh, their armor as they're trying to advance it. That's also, also something I'm really trying to do here. So, um, but it, I saw it moving forward, and so I'm not going to try to get a, uh, try to go put an IED on it because if they spot me that far forward, they're most likely just going to kill me. So, um, I'm going to actually try to move back here and see if I can pick off some snipers. Went a little too far there. Now right now I'm just kind of checking my right because a lot of times snipers will stay in the back there until everybody moves up and so I just want to make sure that no one's sitting uh, behind me while I'm trying to do this. Now of course I spotted a sniper sitting right on the plane right in front of me so I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Now he's going to respawn and he's going to know that I sniped him so but he might not be sure that I'm behind him so <clears throat> excuse me so I'm going to go ahead and hide behind the tanks here just make sure that I stay concealed. As long as he doesn't have a UAV, it's going to be really hard for him to find me, and he's not going to want to waste a lot of time running back around the tanks to try to find me. But most likely, he thinks I sniped him from the forward area instead of the back, so um, I should be safe here. Now, here I'm checking the backfield because I was kind of mistaken here. I was thinking that he was going to spawn, if he spawned in the base, I was thinking he was going to spawn all the way back there, but I forgot that they, since they moved up, their base spawn now becomes the bunkers, and so even if he spawned at the base, he would spawn in front of me, and that was something I didn't really realize when I was playing this, but... Um, that would have been helpful to know, um, because I wouldn't have had to be so worried about someone uh, coming up behind me. Now, the other reason I'm kind of looking back there, though, is because as the new armor appears, um, you're going to have players running back to grab it and bring it up uh, to the front lines. And so I want to make sure that 
um, that one of those guys doesn't spot me either and then either take me out with the armor or he might just come and kill me. So, but right now I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I'm in the clear. And so I'm actually going to, uh, I'm looking up into the forward area, um, to try to get some shots on them if I can. And I'm also, as you can see right now, I'm keeping an eye on the backfield just to see, um, if that sniper is around or if, uh, anybody's running back to get the new armor. Now you can see there's the sniper running around. And so I don't want him to see me because if, even if they break through the hangar doors, I'm going to have a great position to snipe from back in here, from here. I can actually get up on a tank and snipe over to the, uh, the third objective from here if I want to. But he doesn't see me, and now he's sitting on the same little spot. That's something else you'll notice, that the snipers tend to go back to the same exact spot over and over. I tend to do the same thing um, if, uh, if I kind of get killed as a sniper, I don't know, just by like a random chance if somebody just happens to spot me. A lot of times if assault rifle guys kill you, they're not going to sit there and camp your spot. They're going to you know, move on to the next thing and try to kill some uh, other frontline guys. But if another sniper kills you, he's most likely going to keep checking your same spot, so it's not a good idea to keep doing that. And um, He's going to see that I'm killing him with a sniper rifle, so he should be cautious of that. Now you can see in my UAV that the armor is actually moving now, and it's actually moving off to the left. And so the reason I'm sitting here hidden is because I wasn't sure. I felt like that sniper went and grabbed the armor and he was actually looking for me because he's not bringing it forward. Um, he was actually moving to the left and so I was thinking he might actually be trying to spot me over in the hills to the left. But now he's actually firing it and so I kind of feel like um, he's not looking for me and I might actually be able to go take that out. So, And he's not really moving it forward, he's just trying to fire all the way back from there. So um, I'm going to see if I can get some shots on frontline guys from there, but I'm also going to, if he, see, he's sitting stationary and just shooting, so now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go up and throw an IED on the back of that thing. Um, if the snipers don't stay back here, uh, another way I can be really effective is to take out the armor really easily. So since that sniper is not around, I think he's actually the one inside the armor, I'm going to go ahead and try to go for a plant on the IED on the back of the armor here. But you can see I'm still being really cautious because I don't want to lose this position. If I die, I'm going to have to spawn up near the hangar doors, and that just ruins the whole thing. So I still want to be really cautious. But I don't see that sniper anywhere, so I'm going to go ahead and try for the IED plant. But now you can see, right as I'm running at it, uh, the armor gets... He, he moves it forward into the main battlefield. And uh, so I decide to abort the mission because I didn't want to... If you go up near those bunkers, the guys that are spawning back in the base are going to see you. And so I didn't want to give up my position. But it turns out that that sniper was still lurking around and he wasn't actually the one in the armor anyway. Um, so he got me anyway. Now, you can see I had a really fortunate spawn here, though. I spawned right as they were taking out the armor... Uh, sorry, the uh, hangar doors. And so now I have the opportunity to lag behind again and do the same thing to them. So this is a good little spot I like to use right when they uh, take out the hangar doors. Um, you can see through the cracks here really easily as they run around the crates, but it's really hard for them to see you and get a good shot on you here. So this is where I like to kind of camp um, as they're moving forward just to see if anybody's going to clear the backfield. And most of the time the Coalition are going to clear the area here because this is a really annoying spot for Taliban to be if you're trying to move on to the, uh, the yard. So sure enough, the Coalition show up, and we had one sniper trying to get me there, and then we have another assault guy running through the doors. So um, I probably wouldn't have taken a shot on him if I knew he was just going to run through the uh, the doors there. I thought he was going to come around the back and try to find me, so I shouldn't have shot him. Now he does realize that I'm back here. They may have UAV, or he may have just realized that I had taken shots at him, so um, he may have just been waiting in there for me to come get him. But And then here's another guy. That's probably the sniper I killed. Um, uh, Gordy, yeah, that is the sniper. He he is the one I killed uh, when he was crouched in the back there, and so he knows I'm back here. But now, here's something that's really important. After you kill a couple guys by camping like that, you really need to change positions because they're obviously going to come trying to look for you. And so if you just switch positions, um, you'll find it really easy to take them out because they're not going to expect you to change positions. It's kind of weird because you would think that they would figure, okay, he's not going to be in the same spot over and over, but... I mean, even when I'm the guy searching for the camper, you, you tend to think, okay, he's going to be in the same spot over and over, so you don't tend to look in a different place. But even, you can see I just moved to the other side of the room here, even just moving to the other side of the room can be really effective, because when he's coming around that corner, he's going to try to uh, look for you in that in the back right corner, and I'm not going to be there anymore. And just that crucial split second when he realizes I'm actually in the other side of the room gives me the jump on him um, to uh, to get the first shots fired in, which means that I'm probably going to win the duel, so... But you can see there, I wasn't prepared for him, and he got me anyway. So now I'm going to be spawning back in the, uh, the yard, and so I'm going to move to one of my new favorite spots over here in the yard, which is behind this tarped area. A lot of snipers will hide in this trench here, but then Coalition players have figured that out, and they 
uh, will come off to the, they'll come out of the hangar doors and go to the left and try to pick you off there. And they can, snipers that are up in the little window in the hangar doors can also see you there. So it's kind of a dangerous spot to be. Um, and so this is kind of my new favorite spot is right between this little tarp, this little tarp opening. Um, this can be really effective or not effective at all. If if Coalition are not running to the left of that plane wing right there, it's you basically don't see anybody the entire time and you're just kind of sitting, sitting back here camping and not getting any kills. But if you can get... Uh, if you can get a few guys that are running, see like here I have a couple good shots on these guys, if you can if you can get them grouped up in one area and start getting some score chains, you can drop score chain after score chain on these airplanes and you'll just keep killing them because they're all grouped there trying to um, get the, uh, to get the, the area uh, defended I guess is the word I'm looking for, I don't know, you know, you know what I mean, when you capture the area and you have to get a bunch of your teammates there. So um, I've actually gotten up to cruise missile uh, from I've actually gotten from zero points all the way up to cruise missile just by sitting here because as you keep dropping more and more powerful ordnance on those airplanes, you get more and more kills, and uh, it's really hard for them to spot you and get a shot on you. Now you can see now that um, I'm not really seeing much action here, so I was kind of thinking, okay, I might, I might need to change position here, and I'm actually going to take a little hop here to see if anybody's in that window. Because if, if there's a sniper in that window, then I can go ahead and uh, move into the trench to the right here and uh, try taking him out. But we, they only have 10 tickets left, and I still see them sitting in the same spot, so I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to get some headshots and fire some mortar strikes and rockets and everything else at those planes. Now at this point, they only have 6 tickets left, and so I'm not even going to worry about... Uh, moving because I know the game's gonna be over in about two seconds. So I'm just gonna get a couple more shots in if I can, and otherwise we win the game. And so that's the game, and uh, I hope you enjoy this. I, this is something that I've really been trying to uh, experiment with on all the maps, and I have a really great video of Hellman Valley too of doing the same thing, and so I'll post that soon. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I actually did pretty well for. Um, you know, I didn't really help my team out much on the front lines, but I did get a lot of kills and I took out their snipers from behind, so I thought I was really effective in that way. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.